Happy 2022! It is a new year and that means so many of us have health, diet, eating, all different kinds of goals, but I find a lot of people have goals around eating healthy. So I thought I would do a fridge and pantry tour video and also share all of my tips and tricks for not only how to prep and store and make your kitchen aesthetic, but also ways I like to automate things so you can set yourself up for success when it comes to your 2022 goals. And this is one area of my life that I feel really confident in. It's taken me years to get to this place, but now I feel like things are streamlined. I have everything I need. I know what I like to make. It's just simplified. So I wanted to share those things with you because the systems and the little hacks are what help us achieve our goals. And without those in place, it feels really, really daunting and stressful to do so. So let's start. I mean, I could just have you in my kitchen and talk to you for hours. It's really my happy place. I love our new kitchen. And no matter where you live, how much space you have, how much you love your kitchen, there are things you can do to make it your favorite place. So we're gonna go over all the little organizers and everything, but let's start at the beginning. Let's start at where I love to shop. So I really like to optimize my groceries, my pantry items, because your girl hates going to the grocery store. And I feed our family of two and a half, <laughs> but I'm also a recipe developer. I make new recipes for TikTok and Instagram and YouTube, if you've seen my What I Eat in a Days. So I'm always cooking. I'm cooking three meals a day, most days, for if not myself and me, definitely myself. We really don't eat out much. I just find that I feel so much healthier when I cook my food, and this system allows me to do so. So I love to use two different things to order things online and get them delivered to my door and automate my food. <laughs> I love Imperfect Produce. Imperfect Produce is a delivery system that I've used for years now, or at least over a year. Feels like forever. I don't know what I did before Imperfect Produce, but I love it because it's not a CSA basket where it's just random stuff. It's actually a website you can go through, select everything that you want for the week. You can even automate things that you like to have every single month, which we do. And they have lots of organic options. They have lots of grass-fed meat. So many of the staples that I use on a daily basis. And then also my other favorite is Thrive Market. And one thing that's really, really great about Thrive Market is the prices. The prices are insane. They are so affordable. I find that most things that I have in the condiments section, the, the dried food section of Thrive Market that I buy are significantly less expensive than what I would get from a Whole Foods or a Sprouts. I'm talking dollars less expensive. So it allows you to have this healthy lifestyle that's actually more affordable than it would be if you're schlepping to Whole Foods and buying everything and taking that extra hour and a half to do this whole shopping excursion and spend $250 on what seems like nothing. So I love Thrive Market. I also have auto ship. So I have auto ship on so many items, things that I use all the time and you can adjust. So if you're getting too much of one thing, but I just find that it makes it so much easier and especially going into motherhood, I just want to have as many things automated as possible so that I have free time to enjoy my life. And I don't know if there's any other platforms out there that you love, definitely leave them below. I would love to check them out, but I have found that those two are the most cost effective. Like Instacart just is always so expensive and I feel like they don't have a lot of the stuff that you order and then you have to be on your phone to swap items. It's super annoying and you often don't get everything you want. So not a huge fan of that, but let's go in and let's just take a look at the fridge. This is raw, this is honest. I did not take anything out of the fridge. Nate did go shopping to Bonds because I buy all really healthy stuff. I'm like buying him Olipops instead of regular soda and things like that. So sometimes he likes to go and just like have the kind of 
junk cheap food that he wants so you know just know we're human and we're real people and this is the reality i feel like we're on cribs <laughs> here's my fridge <laughs> Ta-da! okay let's get a little light going all right so here's my fridge here is what we have in here it's kind of minimal I really don't buy a lot of packaged products. Most of it is just produce, some drinks, some eggs, meats and cheeses. Obviously did not organize this for you in advance. Nate's Cheeky Mountain Dew. This is the real stuff. So some things I really wanna highlight, definitely get yourself some clean dairy alternative milk. Three trees is fantastic. I also like milk. Then I have these little bins to organize, which I really find are helpful. I have herbs in here. Another thing I really love to do is keep my loose herbs in water after I wash them because they last so much water. Then I have all of my fermented foods back here, probiotic coconut yogurt, which I will link the recipe down below for you. Also some fermented veggies, kimchi, kraut, all that kind of stuff. And I have an entire two levels that are just lettuce, which is pretty much hilarious. So I have, I love arugula. This is the organic imperfect produce brand. I also really love to buy lettuce. And this is a red leaf lettuce. And let me open this up for you with one hand. What I do is I will wash it and then I put it in a Tupperware with paper towels and it stays so crispy. So this is the best hot tip if you're making a lot of salads. I make what I call a big ugly salad for lunch almost every single day. So I love having lots of lettuce options. Then we have all the meats and cheeses. Here's some leftover meatballs. I try to use all of the silicone BPA-free reusable bags, but sometimes you just run out, and that's the reality in this fridge right now. But I will link the Eat to Glow ebook that has the recipe for these meatballs. Then I have all of Nate's lunch meat. He eats a lot of sandwiches, so I buy him organic cheese. I buy him, that's not organic because it's salami, but I really do try to get high quality organic if I am gonna buy packaged food, especially meat products. Then we have our eggs, and I really am such an advocate for pastured eggs. They have so much more nutritional content and you can use eggs for anything. I love a hard boiled egg. I love a soft scrambled egg. I love a poached egg. And here we have some random beverages. This is from Nate's friend, Corey, when he came over during football season. But my favorite beverage, because we're almost out of it, so there's only really one left, is Sound Tea. This is the most eat to glow bottled and they have canned beverage ever. It is organic. It's like a sparkling water, but it's also infused with a little bit of tea and a little bit of natural essence. So like a citrus or mint. My favorite flavor is the grapefruit, but they are so, so good. You can buy them online. You can get them on Air One. And I really, really love them. These Olipops are what I tried to get for Nate in place of conventional soda. I will say they still have refined sugar in them very low amounts but be aware those are not things that you want to drink all the time because they're a treat they have refined sugar and refined sugar makes you crave more refined sugar so it's a good option if you were going to drink a root beer but not if you're going to have one every day it has been tempting to have one every day because they're delicious but i try not to um, then i have vegetables I make a lot of sweet potato fries. I do a lot of roasted veggies. So I like to just have a ton of vegetables on hand, ready to go. A little bit more lettuce, which could go in the lettuce section. I love to roast cabbage. You know, I'm not afraid of potatoes and things like that and root vegetables that have carbohydrates. Not afraid of carbs, just want them to come from good whole places. And we have the fruit drawer. I don't eat too much fruit, but I do like 
a berry on top of a smoothie or a collie oats bowl. I like apples chopped up in my oats, so always like to have those on hand as well. The name of the game is truly just being prepared and having things. And I also have a meal prep guide, so if you're interested in that, I will link that below if you wanna get into meal prepping, which I highly recommend. Now let's get into condiments. These are my favorite, and this is how you can really jazz up your food. So Thrive has the best affordable condiments. I love their mustard. We go through so much of this. Also, my other favorite brand for condiments is Primal Kitchen. They have unsweetened ketchup that is fantastic. They have some really good salad dressings. And their mayonnaise with avocado oil is so incredible. It is so, 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 so good. You have to try this if you haven't. And you can get it on Thrive for a really, really good price. And we also have some bone broth. I've really been addicted to bone broth this pregnancy. Then we have natural wine. We get all of our natural wine from Thrive Market and it really is the best price. It's also the easiest so you don't have to run out to a natural wine store because most places don't have high quality delicious natural wine. The freezer is even more of a shit show. Okay. This is definitely random. I don't have a lot of frozen food because we just make fresh food. So a lot of this is Nate stuff, to be honest. Like this is sherbet bread, literally tombstone. But I do have some like grass fed beef in here. I have all of my smoothie stuff down here. So rice cauliflower, I have different seeds. I've got some bison bone broth. Then I have my skinny confidential ice roller, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I use this almost every morning and I cannot recommend ice rolling enough. So it has its own little place in the freezer. We got some ice packs, got some more nuts, some bullets for whiskey, which I do not drink, especially right now. Um, also under here, some pasture chicken and some frozen greens for smoothies. So that's it for the fridge and the freezer. And now let's go over to the pantry. We have lots of pantry storage in this kitchen. We went from no storage to a lot of storage. So first we have this cabinet. Things are a little bit miscellaneous at this point because we just moved. But in here we keep our olive oil, cooking oils, pretty much all the oil and vinegar, and then the fruits and vegetables that need to be ripened. So in here we have fruits and vegetables that need to be ripened. Again, pro of being tall, you can use all your cabinets. <laughs> then we have excess olive oil. We have the Beroncini olive oil from Pia. It is so delicious and incredible. Mortar and pestle if we ever need it. Then we have all of our olive oil and coconut oil, cooking oil, all the oils, and all the vinegar. I really love Brightland olive oil too. So I bought the Brightland oil, used it up, and I love to just recycle this bottle because it's so pretty. And I filled it full of the Baroncini olive oil. Then we have the spice and supplement cabinet. This is the piece de resistance. This is what makes me happy. This just brings me so much joy. I want to make sure it's focusing. It is just heaven and got these organizers from Amazon. They adjust the size of your cabinetry. So I would really highly suggest getting these. They make your life so much easier. So I have all my... I love organic liquid stevia, mint. I have more of like the sweet spices with cinnamon than some savory stuff, but really I try to buy all organic when I can. And then I have my Maldon salt. Oh, you can't see. Then I have my Maldon salt in this little thing that is very French, French vibes. My grandma, my tutu had something like this in her kitchen. So now I do too. Oh, love it. And then this is what I like to call like the main, I guess, pantry. It's cupboards, but it's really all that we need. And I try to keep it really organized. These bins are from Amazon. This contains all of my smoothie stuff. This is 
bread and like random sardines, but uh, yeah, bread. Then there's all of my Lacanto monk fruit sweetener, which is what I use for baking. More baking supplies. Shout out Peanut Head and Nowhere Bakery Cookie Mix. Then this is a little bit of like kind of miscellaneous dry goods. Organic pasta, seaweed, rice, dried fruit. And then down here is more breakfast stuff. So cereal and then all of my daily stuff I use for smoothies and collie oats. So my psyllium husk fiber that I'm obsessed with. And then all my ancient nutrition collagen, bone broth protein, and then I was testing this rookie protein, which is actually really yummy as well. Ah, see, the baskets just really keep it organized. I cannot tell you how much of a difference having organizers and like having the spice rack it just makes the world of difference. You can see everything, you, you know exactly what you have, nothing goes bad or gets old because you can just easily access everything you have. And that's all she wrote. That is kitchen, that's pantry. And I hope that those little tips and tricks and seeing my kitchen was inspiring for you. And I really, really do think that if you set things up so that it's just really easy to see everything and that everything is filled full of nutritious, healthy food, that it's gonna make a transition into having a healthier diet and lifestyle that much easier. But do give yourself grace and realize that this doesn't happen overnight. It takes time and really just doing things in little steps, like maybe buying a spice rack that you love will then inspire the next thing. So do it slowly over time. It's something that's manageable and sustainable. And you're just going to find that it's so easy and fun to be in your kitchen and cook healthy and delicious food. If you are looking for healthy recipes, I have two ebook offerings that are super helpful. One is the Eat to Glow Meal Guide. That is the OG original where I share my whole food philosophy on eating for glowy, healthy skin. It's a low inflammatory diet. It is not a vegan diet by any means, but it's low inflammatory oils, pretty much none, no refined sugar, just all the things your skin needs to thrive. It also has a week's worth of meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you like smoothies, this is definitely the ebook for you, but all the recipes, including the meatballs that I still make to this day. And I also have my Eat to Glow meal prep. So those are a whole bunch of meal prep recipes. If you're looking to batch cook and make your life easier so that you're not cooking every single day. So I will link those below and definitely let me know if you have any videos you'd like to see this year, especially in the health and wellness realm that is my realm. And if I can help you in any way in those categories, I would absolutely love to. Will say a little teaser, I am going to be filming my gender reveal video this week and you're going to find out what this little peanut is. We did find out, we wanted to film something special before we share it with you and we could not be more excited. So we will see you next Tuesday for a very exciting video and I hope you have a great rest of your morning, day, evening, whatever it is. I'll see you next week. Mwah.